holiday season and there is nothing more festive than fitness, am I right? <laughs> Especially if you plan on eating a lot, you need to burn off some of those calories, am I right? Okay, so today we are going through my top five absolute favorite pieces of fitness equipment that I highly recommend you get for your own at-home gym. And we're spending a lot of time working out at home right now, right? So these pieces of equipment are just wonderful. And no, I am not affiliated with any of these products. I don't get a dime. I just absolutely love these products. I use them with all of my online at-home clients, um, with my in-person clients, and with some of the members inside of my signature programs as well. I'm Alicia Jones from Alicia Jones Healthy Living and for over 14 years I've helped transform the health and lives of women over 50 through fitness and weight loss strategies and this is not going to be about any of the health products it's specifically about fitness products but if you haven't already you can check out my video at the end of this one that goes through my top eight favorite healthy gifts that I highly recommend you gift yourself that pamper you and make you feel really good. But this is all about the fitness equipment, so let's get into it. Okay, so fitness equipment, number one, my absolute favorite is, oh, the Reebok Step, yeah! <laughs> the Reebok Stair Stepper, it actually opens up so that it turns into a bench. When I say bench, what I mean is you can sit here, you can do some chest press here, uh, sorry, some military presses here, you can do some arm exercises here, you've got this lovely support for your back. You can change the angle of the workout moves that now uh, you can't do if you don't have the stair stepper, right? So for example, here you've got your chest press. You could be doing on this incline overhead triceps, so you're really pulling that length into the tricep because now you've got an angle to this. You're also creating length and tone in the biceps if you are lifting your weights and doing them here like this. It just opens up a world of exercises when you've got these inclines. So it's got three different inclines that you can use for different exercises to get that different pull and stretch and strengthen. What you can also do is just have one side so that you are on an angle. So what this does, when you're using it like this, do you see that nice angle that it's just created? You've opened up a world of ab exercises. You can hang your legs off of this side here, just like this, gently roll down, and now you've created harder ab exercises on that incline that you're doing there. Or for some of the other exercises you can do for your legs. Now it's given you a hill. So you can go on it here, do those squats, and now you're changing the depth. I'm not gonna go up too high when I'm doing this because then you won't see my head. <laughs> It'll be cut off. But you can do this, even go side to side, just like this, and then switch directions. It now creates this amazing incline, this amazing change to your workout. It opens up a world of possibilities for your strengthening, your toning, your abs, the whole works in one simple bench. Fitness. Equipment number two is the bow suit. Really what that means is you can use this side or more advanced level, you use the other side. I am a firm believer that balance should be worked at any age really because it does go with age. We want to prevent falls. We want to keep ourselves healthy. On this side, what you do, my head's probably going to get cut off again. Stand on it, notice how it moves. So when you're on it here and it's moving like that, you're working your balance. You can do a whole bunch of exercises on this as you hold on to something at first, but then you're gonna let go. You can do your squats. You can do jumping. It's easier impact on the legs as well. You can do marching. And then, not for everybody, but for some people, you can use the other side. So you can use the other side, do some squats, and do some exercises on it. And the second you're on it, almost right away, people start to shake because all of those little stabilizer muscles are working. You're increasing your balance, your ability to balance. You're having a lot of fun. It's like you're surfing or paddleboarding. It is such a great piece of equipment that takes standard exercises and, and then adds a twist to them to make them a lot of fun. 
highly recommend it. My next piece of fitness equipment that I highly recommend is the equalizers or pull-up bars. These are amazing. What I love about pull-up of any kind is that they are a full back core, full body workout move. So let me show you exactly what I mean. I'm gonna do the pull up with both. So I have them side by side. By the way, I do have some clients that have a version of these equalizers or pull up bars that they are, are already attached. So it makes it a lot more stable for you if you do wanna look up those options. So getting down to the ground, holding on, on each side, lie down, and then you can come up and down to your pull-ups. Notice how my bottom is lifted, squeezing the shoulder blades. I'm working my biceps, I'm working my back, I'm working the abs, the bottom, the legs. If, you have, if you're using just the one, you can also do low leg raises as well. You get underneath it, and you're lifting your bottom. This is helping you lift that bottom and then back down. So you've got these amazing ab exercises that you can do. You've got wide pull-ups, so you're holding on either side. And you can come up and down. And you've got reverse grip, which is facing you. So you've got all these different options that you can do to get pull-ups in, to get full body workout in and it's minimal amount of equipment. It's something fun again that you can start to add into your day. And I really highly suggest it. Okay, so we're on to the next one. The next one is the wheel. The wheel, but this isn't any wheel. Most people know the wheels because you hold on to them here and you roll in and out. They're amazing for the abs without doing crunch exercises or exercises that might hurt the back. Really, really great. And for some of you that say, oh, that looks really difficult. I don't know if I can do it. If you can roll out a pie crust with a roller, you can absolutely do this too. It's the same thing. You're just doing it on your knees or you're, you can go onto your toes as well. Um, so if you're, you have bad knees, we'll take it onto the toes. You can go forward and back just like that. And there you go, just like rolling your pie crust. But the thing is with this one is that it has straps on it so that not only can you do your upper leg, uh, your upper abs, and your, use it with your arms, you can use this on your feet. Low abs, who wants to work the low abs? So I'm not wearing shoes at this moment. It, um, I, I re recommend you have shoes on for this for most of the time, just because it gives you more stability inside. Okay, so you can switch over here. You're gonna roll all the way over just like this. You're up on that wheel and then bend your knees in and out, just like that. You can also pike up, that's it, down, and up, and down, that's it. So these are different low ab exercises. Everybody wants to work the low abs. And if you're not as advanced yet, and that looks really difficult for you, you can still use it, you just raise your body. You would hold yourself up here, or you would hold yourself up on the sofa a little bit higher up, and that way you still get in the exercise, but the more you are elevated, the easier the exercise becomes. So you can do that as well. Um, of course, you can't be standing upright, then you'd be on a unicycle. <laughs> and my final piece of fitness equipment that I think everybody should have inside of their house are bands. Super simple to get these bands. It cost me about 19 or $20 on Amazon. Uh, these ones here have different attachments. So you can use them for your legs and do leg work. You can use them for your arms and do hand work. They even have a stop in the door so that you can be doing exercises such as pulling down and up. Uh, so they have a whole bunch of different colors in here that you can be doing whatever level you want. It comes in a nice little bag usually, easy to store, so easy to take them. You can go to the cottage with them. You can go uh, absolutely anywhere, take them, well not that we're flying anywhere now, but uh, you can take them in your suitcase and, and take them with you and that way you get a workout no matter where you go, which is great, right? <laughs> to round up one more time, you've got the Reebok Stair Stepper, you've got the Bosu Ball, the Equalizers for pull-up work, 
You've also got the wheel that is also for low and high abs, and you've got the bands. Okay, that is it this time, and if you missed my eight healthy holiday gifts that I highly suggest you gift yourself, take a look at the video below. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.